the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, everybody, glad you're back. I hope you enjoyed that first part A, dealing with the anatomy of faith. And man, I'm really, uh, I'm really excited about this project. We're going to make it plain. <clears throat> because the whole point is that we want to uh, you know, teach the Word of God with simplicity and understand. Let's pray with you. Father, I thank you for this opportunity to come to worship and praise your holy name. Father, you said one, two, or three, God in your name, you've been the of them. And I invite you to see the present of the Holy Spirit and lead us and guide us all truth. Anoint us to be there with you. Bless those who are going to watch this video. In Jesus' name, pray. Amen. 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 Man, I tell you, it's, it is important, man. I, you know, just a bit of, to make it plain, keep it simple, and, and, and just get into the Word of God and, and ensure that uh, other believers uh, and those who are seeking to understand the Word of God uh, that are not believers uh, can at least come to a, a forum or a platform where the whole intent is just to take it step by step <laughs> concerning the word of God and 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 the different topics that comes along with it. Now, it is challenging because I tell you, the Bible is rich in revelation and knowledge of the word. So we really want to just be able to take that time and 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 we hey look, until Jesus comes back, we'll just continue to just make it plain. Amen. <laughs> All right. You know, I I always start off make sure you understand what the vision of the ministry. I have it posted here. Uh, and, and the key piece of that is to be able to uh, apply the Word of God in our everyday lives in a practical and effective manner. We all are world overcomers as Christians because Christ overcame the world and we are part of the body of Christ. Amen. So you always be uh, comfortable with the fact is that your job is to go preach the gospel throughout the world. And what I want to do is be play a role in at least trying to help equip the saints to do that. Okay? Because uh, I guarantee you, uh, we need to be able to always point toward Jesus Christ collectively and individually. It's not about our denominations. It's not about the ministries that we go and worship at uh, alone. <laughs> it's really about making sure that all of us as believers uh, represent the body of Christ. And we represent the body of Christ by knowing and understanding the word of God, amen? So that's what, let's go ahead and do that. And, and, and I encourage you, uh, really listen to uh, the words that are being taught by the ministries that you're associated with and take it serious, take notes uh, when the man or the woman of God is gonna teach the word of God, because that's where you want to, to equip yourself, okay? I mean, that's really what it's all about, equipping yourself. And Revelation 12, 11, is the fact is that they overcame, they, that's the body of Christ, overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of the testimony, uh, and they loved not their lives unto death. So that's what, that's what we want to be able to do, is to continue to just use our testimony to help one another as things as believers. Uh, so that we can equip ourselves as we move forward uh, and do the things of God. And remember, give, give God all the glory, amen? Give God all the glory and we walk by faith, not by sight. All right, so now one of the things is what we did uh, and left off at, and was just to see subject that we're dealing with, uh, the central uh, text of the idea, the thoughts, is focused on the uh, two scriptures Hebrews 11, 1, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Uh, we start picking up in Mark 11, 24. Therefore, I say unto you, what things you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. And we've been dealing with the subject of the anatomy of faith. The anatomy of faith, because you remember, if, if you don't know, the believer, all believers, supposed to walk by faith, all right? Everything we do, every challenge we have is by faith that we tackle those challenges. That's it. That's the 
that is our weapon. The just shall live by faith. So therefore, if we're going to live by faith. That was the word of God said we was to live by faith. Then we need to make sure we understand how to operate in faith. Amen. And that's what this is all about: how to operate in faith. And we we left off talking about the components of of, of, of faith. Uh, we we first we did that first with the Hebrews eleven one, but then we moved right into Mark eleven twenty four. And you know, when I, when I say again, it says, therefore I say unto you, what's those things you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them, you shall have them. I was focused on the part which I'm about desire. Uh, it's, it's important that, that we keep control, uh, take control of the desires that we have because that desire really is that image uh, that hope <laughs> that, 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 that we're trying to be manifest in our life. And we're all born with desires. We, 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 was, we, we went into James, and, and I'll try to go back in that in a minute, because the, 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 the point is, if, if check your desire out. Check your, check, your, check, your, check your even lust out. Check it out and make sure that it lines up with the will of God, not the will of your flesh, not the will of the world system, not the will or desire of other people, but the will of God. It's critical that we get make sure we control that will, that 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 desire. And you know, we did talk about, it, and let's make sure we put in the, the scripture we left off at. It was in James. Uh, chapter 1 verse 13 look at look at it again it says let no man say when he's tempted i'm tempted of god for god cannot be tempted with evil neither tempted he any man but every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed and this is a critical piece then when lust has conceived it bringeth forth sin and sin, when it is finished, bring it forth death. I mean, when we talk about the, the a couple of studies ago, weeks ago, we did we did the anatomy of sin, and see the whole point you need to understand, and 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 and, and it's very critical to understand that sin brings forth death. That's why we want to avoid sinning. Because sinning brings forth death. That's what the scripture says. I mean, it's not, it's not even. A, and look, some of you sitting there saying, "Well, I I don't have I, I don't just believe in the Bible, so, I, so that doesn't apply to me." It applies to you whether you are a, a child of God or in the world. Sin brings forth death. You know, uh, one of our scriptures, and like I said, you don't have to apply with it. But the bottom line, it, it makes very sense. It says that. Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For what some of a man soweth, that's he'll also reap. If you sow death, you're going to get death. And, and we know that. You, what you see the people that, that, that do things uh, that miss the mark of God, uh, in my life, look, even miss the mark of society. And it brings forth death. How many people? have died because of sin? How many addicts have died because of sin? How many adulterers? How many fornicators? How many people of hate? How many, all those people bring us forth death when we make that our focus. We make that our objective. If the objective is sin, you watch out because you come around that corner, death is waiting. And we got to, with that, unless, unless some of you are interested in bringing death, I think it's better to go ahead and avoid death by watching what is, is a, a driving desire that we have in life. That desire, whether it's uh, the word desire itself, or we talk about lust with an extreme desire. If it, if it, if it's, well, focus is to to achieve our our desires or our lusts. We need to make sure that that desire 
is pointing in the right direction. You know, what in the scripture is said is that uh, lust points to corruption. Lust points to corruption. And I guess you can say, if you want to, uh, one of the things I want to make sure I bring out, I used to sit there and say the desire is, is, the, is the positive aspect of, 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 of going and doing right things. And lust is the corruption of, of going for a phase. But in reality, you can either have desires to, to, to do bad phase, or you can have lust to point to a bad phase. So the bottom line is, it's not so much of the, the desire or the lust, because some of those, those things are built in us. It's, it's, it's what it's pointing to, all right? We want to make sure that our desires uh, point toward the, the 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 right thing, so that we can focus on the right thing. You know, some of us have a desire to be rich. <laughs> uh, it's just how you're going to get there is the key to it. Right, Amen. <laughs> some of us have desired. I mean, you 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 have desires uh, that, that allows you to pursue certain things. You're pursuing career pursuing a relationship, you know, we're built with desires. So we don't, don't we're not going to make desires negative. What we had and what we want to focus on is where those desires are pointing to. So so just keep that in mind that desires point uh, or lust points toward uh corruption. And we got to make sure that we take control of our desires or our lust and make sure it doesn't point toward corruption. Because when it points to corruption, that's when you're going to have a problem. You know, and I put in that scripture said, uh, God doesn't tempt us with evil. That's what that scripture James said. So when we're, we're pointing toward a the lust or desire points to a corruption, that's not coming from God. That's coming from, from the world. It's coming from your flesh. That's coming from evil, uh, from the evil one uh, to get us in the wrong direction. And we got to make sure that we don't get caught off guard looking the wrong way, pointing for the wrong thing, designing the wrong thing. See, it's not a, see, desire, like I said, is part of our life. You know, those are the desire to get education. What they do, then they start doing the things that goes toward getting that education. Uh, or even trying to get a, a what, a, a great, a good grade. Uh, it, it's all about <laughs> uh, pointing into the right direction, amen? All right, so just keep in mind, uh, we, 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 if we go to Genesis, we can get a good example of how the enemy uh, loves to change our focus, love to change our direction uh, toward the things that will bring us down. Uh, and, and we definitely want to get into that situation where we're allowing ourselves to be pointed in the wrong direction. So one of the things is that the in the Genesis uh, we 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 start looking at Eve. Uh, Genesis three six. Uh, you know when if you go into the whole chapter of, of Genesis, uh, you you'll see where it's talking about the uh, uh, the devil coming in and pointing uh, or getting Adam and Eve to focus. On the wrong thing, you know they've been in the garden. God gave them the commandment, and He told them all those things in the garden. All the trees were pleasant, and they could eat any of those trees in the garden, except for that one over there called the the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. I mean, it was it was clear, and apparently they've been there, and apparently they've been eaten. Uh, and they weren't eating from that tree. They was focused on all the other trees that were accessible to them, that 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 was uh, authorized them to eat. Uh, and and they know that that tree was uh, points toward corruption. It points towards death. So they knew that. All right. So therefore, they seem to be doing what they need to do in their life, focus on the right thing until the devil came in. And he said that and basically got them all focused. And then that's how you, we got to watch out for. And the enemy came in subtly in Genesis chapter 3. Uh, and that's how life does to us. It, it's, sometimes it comes in very subtle. 
and